Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I am excited to be doing a collaboration with one of my sweet friends on here, Jay. Her channel is My Type of Organized and just as her channel name suggests, she does a lot of organization type videos, which I really, really enjoy. And they're very helpful to me because I am not the best at organizing. So I need all the tips and tricks and ideas that I can get. So those are some of my favorite videos that she does, but she also does a lot more than that. She does cooking, cleaning, hauls, a little bit of everything. If you are not already familiar with Jay, please go check her channel out and tell her that I sent you. What we're gonna be doing today is cookies, and these are vegan cookies, uh, vegan oatmeal cookies to be exact. I don't have a lot of experience with vegan cooking, baking, any of that, but I found out that it's actually not that difficult to turn something vegan. You just make a couple substitutions and there you go. These cookies turned out so amazing. They are probably one of my favorite oatmeal cookies now. So definitely was a success and I will show you how I made these. And definitely go check out Jay's channel to see what kind of vegan cookies that she made. So I will go over the ingredients real quick here. Now this is one of my favorite oatmeal cookie recipes and what I did was I just made a couple substitutions to it to make it vegan. So what you're gonna need is one and a half cups of oats. You're gonna need one cup of flour. And then in here I have a half teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon baking powder, a half teaspoon ground cinnamon and a half teaspoon salt. Here I've got a half cup of brown sugar and a half cup of granulated sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and here are where the substitutions come in. Instead of a half cup of butter, I am using a half cup of coconut oil. And I like using coconut oil a lot in baking anyway, so that was a pretty easy sub for me to make. And instead of an egg, I'm gonna be using this unsweetened applesauce. I'm only gonna use about half of this, um, which would be a quarter cup. So when you do an egg substitution, you want to do a quarter cup of applesauce per egg. So since this recipe only has one egg in it, I'm gonna do a quarter cup of this applesauce. And these two are the only substitutions that I had to make to these cookies, and both of them worked out really, really well. This is the second time that I'm making these cookies with the alterations here, and so I know that it turns out really, really well. And like I said, very, very simple way to make these vegan. You can also put add-ins in this if you want, like chocolate chips, dried fruit, something like that. I'm not going to because I actually like the flavor of them just kind of plain, but you can absolutely put something in if you want. And if you did want to add something in, you'd probably want to add around a cup of whatever that was. So let me get started and I will show you how quick and easy these are to make. First thing you wanna do before anything else is get your oven preheating to 375, so I've got that going. So now I'm gonna take my baking soda, baking powder, cinnamon, and salt, and I'm gonna add it to my flour. And I'm going to just stir this together. Get that all incorporated together. Now you're gonna take your sugar and your coconut oil You're gonna just mix these together until they're nice and creamed. We've got that nice and creamed together, so now I'm gonna take my quarter cup of applesauce. And add about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. And then I'm gonna blend that up. And now that I've got this blended together, I'm gonna to take my flour mixture here and pour that in. And then I'm gonna just mix this until everything's incorporated together. You don't wanna overmix this because that's gonna give you kind of a tough cookie or maybe even a dry cookie. So I'm gonna just, like I said, mix it until it is all incorporated together. I've got that just mixed and that's what it's looking like. So now I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of oats. And I'm gonna mix this just until it's all incorporated. 
Okay, this is all mixed together and this is what it's looking like. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the dough here and I'm going to get about roughly two tablespoon amounts of it and I'm gonna just roll it in a ball and place it on my cookie sheet probably an inch or two apart because these will spread out just a little bit when they cook. So I'm gonna do that, get these all rolled out, and then I will be back. Okay, and here they are, all rolled out. I wish I could tell you how good these smell, just right now, not even baked. They smell amazing. Um, and I guess one of the pluses of vegan cookies is there are no raw eggs in them, so you can feel free to eat the dough. Um, I'm gonna take these now and I'm gonna bake them for probably about eight minutes. Now we like our cookies a little bit more on the underdone side uh, than the done. So I'm thinking about eight minutes is what it usually takes, but everyone's oven varies. And um, yeah, you basically wanna cook them around eight to 10 minutes, but I will start at eight and then see where I'm at. Okay guys, I have let these cook for eight minutes. Like I said before, I like my cookies, well we all do here in this house, a little on the underdone side. Um, so these are kind of at that point right now, but cookies will keep cooking once you take them out of the oven anyway. So I'm gonna call these good at eight minutes and pull them out. And here they are out. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and let these cool for probably not that long to be completely honest because cookies don't get a chance to cool very long in this house. Um, so probably a couple minutes, two to five minutes, and then we are going to taste these. I went and got my hubby out of the shop so he can try one of these. Because I'm the cookie monster. Yep, you're the cookie monster. You're not wearing your cookie shirt today though. He said he could smell them outside, so. They smell wonderful. That reminds me of the, the Hallmark store in uh, Hamilton, Montana. It smells like oatmeal cookie? Or a cookie? You know, like uh, baking spices, holiday mm -hmm. spices. That's what it smells. It smells like Christmas to me. Okay. Smells like delicious cookies to me. Mm. So nice and sweet, and that's tempered by the, for lack of a better term, the blandness of the oats. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the that there's kind of a hint of apple from the applesauce. Yeah, which actually works really well with these, I think, don't you? Oh yeah, I mean, it, it's it's like a perfect match. It's very, um, I mean, to me, this is more, you know, fall mm -hmm. than winter, because you're, you're, I don't know, it reminds me of that. Because of the spice, the yeah. cinnamon, probably. But oatmeal cookies, I think, are probably my favorite, if not one of my favorite cookies, other than just a plain old sugar cookie. I mean, and they're, it's sweet and it's rich. Um, they're super moist, as you can tell. They're not dry at all. They're moist, but they almost have like a little crispy outer layer too once which they is, completely dry. Yeah. Which is perfect. Yeah, he's going for another one. So okay. actually, he's taking a couple. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> love you, bye. So I guess that's success. Um, yeah, these turned out amazing. And like I said, I just had to make a couple little alterations to one of my favorite cookie recipes to make them vegan. Very, very easy and very, very tasty. And I almost, I almost think these taste better uh, with the alterations that I did to them to make them vegan, which is, is kind of funny. I mean, I love, I love, love, love oatmeal cookies, but I think with that coconut oil and that applesauce in there, instead of the uh, butter and egg, these actually taste better. So definitely a success. Um, I would definitely recommend these if you are looking for a good vegan cookie or just a cookie in general. These are so good, it doesn't matter what you wanna call them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.